ni pia ni taarifa ambayo tutakuletea kwa kina katika taarifa zetu za habari zitakazofuatia na hatimaye mwana blogu na mpanga mikakati wa kidijitali katika chama cha Jubilee Pauline Joroge na washukiwa wenza watatu wamefikishwa mahakamani mchana huu kusomewa mashtaka katika mahakama ya Malindi kaunti ya Kilifi awali wakati wa asubuhi familia ya washukiwa watatu waliokamatwa pamoja na mwana blogu Pauline Joroge waligadhabishwa mno baada ya washukiwa hao watatu kukosa kufikishwa mahakamani mjini Malindi kaunti ya Kilifi kama ilivyotarajiwa Pauline Joroge alikamatwa na maafisa wa DCI sehemu ya watamu kaunti ya Kilifi baada kudaiwa kupatikana na dawa za kulevya ndani ya chumba cha hoteli alimokuwa amekodi. We went to Malindi law courts in the morning waiting for our clients like we have previously briefed you. They were not produced but you are aware that there were other arrested persons from the same same station at Watamu who have been produced before the court. They were held in the same same cells. But as we speak our clients are still being held in police cells. A decision has not been made to produce them either in court or a police bail. We have been told that there are some orders and directions that are yet to be taken from above. We do not know which above is this. Tunashtuka na kujiuliza ni kwa nini mahabusu wengine ambao walimelala hapa kutoka siku ya Ijumaa wamepelekwa mahakamani lakini Pauline Jilani na Nduta hawajapelekwa tunajua kwamba hakuna hatu yoyote imechukuliwa pale mahakamani if we are not vigilant as kenyans to ensure that everyone's constitutional rights are upheld then we are going to get into a state where there's complete disarray tuomba wafanye juu chini wawalete hapa kotini tupate kujua kama itaendaje maana serikali ni rahisi sana kufanya jambo lao tunaomba serikali iangalie ya kwamba kama hawa wenzetu ambao kama madam Pauline Njoroge yeye ni kiongozi wa chama cha Jubilee kama hawana kosa lolote wasiendelee kusuiliwa waachiliwe Na skofu kanisa la 